Hi, I'm Madison and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Mad Crafty. Now let me show you how I made this Jack in the Box or Jill or Mad in the Box. Feel me? First, you'll need a box that is big enough to fit over your head and around the middle of your body. I used this size. First, you need to cut off the flaps at the top or the bottom so that your box looks like this. Save those pieces and put them to the side for now. Next, you want to use some clear and strong packing tape to tape those flaps upright so that your box is now a square. I put tape on both the outside and inside to make sure it was super secure. Next, take two of your flat pieces and tape them together with that tape as well. Now it's time to decorate and of course how you DIY it is totally up to you, but a quick and easy way to do it is with wrapping paper. I chose the balloon design and wrapped all four sides. Next, I used my Cricut to cut out some shapes. Grabbed some thick ribbon, some fun pom-poms, and I used a stapler and a glue gun and went to work with a simple border to cover up the tape and any sort of cardboard that was still showing. Pom-poms are a great way to add some fun and to cover up any staples you may have exposed. Also, don't forget to cover up your last square piece with whatever you wish. I used ribbon for mine. And then you want to use some really strong packing tape and tape that piece to the back of your box or glue, whatever you think would make it the most secure. Next, we need to make the crank, and I just took two toilet paper rolls, took some aluminum foil, wrapped them up, added a little bit of glue. Then I sort of squeezed one tube together and hot glued it onto the other. And then I took a red little kind of ball thing, glued it on the top, traced a side of my box, used a knife to cut out that circle and literally stuck this right in because glue is not going to be strong enough to hold this piece on the side. And then finally, if you want to wear this box out to a party and not just sit on your porch and scare little children like I'll be doing, you're going to need straps to hold the box up because you don't want to hold this box around with you all night. You want to be able to put your arms in, you know, scare people, all that stuff. So you want to take some, I don't know, ribbon, something substantial, be creative, figure it out, and just add a strap to the front and to the back so that it can sit on your shoulders. Also, as you can see, I painted my face. I am a professional face and body painter. Well, I did do that for many years as my side hustle, actor life. And I painted my face like a, I don't know, sort of fun rainbow cloud. So there's no reason why you can't, you know, splatter some paint on. And then I used some fake blood too at the top, as you can see, just to make it a little bit gory. I took some pipe cleaners. Those are great for adding um, little hair accessories. I just put some pipe cleaners in my hair, just kind of stuff them in. My hair is actually very dirty right now, but that's okay because it kind of goes with the whole thing. And that's really it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, I would love if you could hit the like button and subscribe. I have more theatrical, but casual, uh, I guess this one's not too casual, <laughs> costumes on my channel. So check those out and have a very safe and happy Halloween. Also, I'm on Pinterest, TikTok, Instagram, at Mad Crafty. Find me there. You know the deal.